What's going on, everybody? Eric Lindquist at Stochastic here on the Odd Chopper channel coming to you with another edition of Lindy's Leans, Likes, and Locks. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Goes a long way for me on this video. Goes a long way for you because you become a prize whenever great betting content is going live here at our, at our little neck of the YouTube woods. I've said that so many times, and yet I screw it up sometimes. You know what I didn't screw up? The betting card today. Smashed with Detroit. Smashed with Minnesota. We got to see this Memphis one through. Tim Hardaway Jr. got hurt there for a quick second. Killian Hayes got hurt too, which again, he was on his way to smashing the PRAs there. Ended up on that. He ended up getting the double-double for people who took the assist. But PRA, I thought was the best play for it. <sighs> it's really the only thing I got wrong. But I didn't really get it wrong if somebody gets hurt. And I don't know. Bad things happen from time to time. You have to take account of that. And such is life. But we move on to tomorrow. Uh, we'll see how the night hammer goes out for me too. But... Uh, regardless, we've got great stuff going at Bet365. You sign up in the video description box below. If you're in Colorado, Ohio, Virginia, and New Jersey, those are the four states for you. I repeat, Colorado, New Jersey, Ohio, Virginia. I always do those in a different order. But at Bet365, you bet $1, you're going to get $365 in bet credits. That is fan freaking tastic That is for sure. So sign up for that in the video description box below. You simply deposit $10, and as soon as you bet that $1 and that game starts, boom, tough acting to act that's John Madden. 365, though. 365 bet credits. It's pretty good. It's like the Imperial credits for my Star Wars geeks out there. Now we should probably start the show. Eight games to go. Lots of things to talk about. Let's get to the fix. Round one. Fight. Speaking of Mortal Kombat, we've got the Cavs and the Hornets. In other words, fatality or flawless victory. Yeah, it's not good to be a Hornets fan here. Cleveland has vaulted to first and adjusted net rating on dunksandthrees.com, while Charlotte sits at the cellar at 27th. They're also by far the worst offensive team in, in basketball without LaMelo Ball at the helm. In fact, I'm dangerously close to pulling the trigger on Cleveland at seven and a half and just moving along here with the Road Dogs. But I'm restraining as my model is surprisingly not in love with it. It should be in love with it. Logic tells me, love me tells me a lot about me as a person but making a decent bet is not what this video is about i only want good and great that's why we have leans that's why we have likes and that's why we have locks i don't know why i said likes like that but just saying i'm leaning seven and a half and maybe just maybe we get this thing to drop to seven or six and a half out of nowhere i know it doesn't sound like much but over a long period of time i want positive expected roi bets and without that extra point i'm afraid it's just not there so total at 222 and a half, efficient. That number, seven and a half that we currently have, borderline efficient. We're just gonna lean here then. Seven and a half, just a little bit of a drop if I can, but I doubt I get there because I doubt this line moves in our favor. But if it does, hey, there you go. Fire it up, but otherwise, lean with it. Don't rock with it. Next game. Detroit on a glorious back-to-back -back after beating the living piss out of Indiana on Monday. And, uh, Took some heat for betting Detroit, but boy, did they back it up. Take the home dog when both lineups suck. Kind of worked out for us. Sadly, though, Killian A's hurt his leg at the very beginning of the third quarter when he was smashing, surely on his way to cashing that PRA for me. I had some coin on it. Premium Discord, which you can sign up below. We had some good bets in there. Again, when somebody gets hurt like that, he had 19 or 18 PRAs at halftime. That was an easy smash. Whatever. Bad things happen from time to time. Nothing you can do about it. But if you don't see it as a good bet after the fact, I can't really help you. Pretty ecstatic about it. Anyway, YouTube comments. I'm sure you'll let me know how I do every single day. You guys are rational, right? Nah, just kidding. You're wild, folks. I love it. Let's go. Back to today, Detroit double-digit dogs to the mere Wizards. Wizards double-digit favorites in any spot is pretty jarring. But with Kyle Kuzma questionable, it's weirdly accurate. Detroit is literally the walking wounded themselves with all those injuries I referred to yesterday. I'll rehash them for you if you weren't there. Ivy, Bagley, Bogdanovich, Stewart, Diallo, Burks, all out. And now perhaps Killian Hayes if that leg, leg injury ends up being a thing, although he did come back randomly in the middle of that fourth quarter. Not enough time for him to go over in the PRA department. I'm over it, though. Something to pay attention to, though. And with Co uh, Kuzma in flux, no props to look at here, as his confirmation works wonders either way. And you got to try on a back-to-back. -back. But Kuzma with that rebound rate, maybe we can find something there. Maybe Daniel Gafford sees some extra minutes, although Porzingis is generally the key to making those a thing. But per usual, if you have questions about props that show up after the fact, 
Hit me up at Eric Lindquist on Twitter. I'll be happy to let you know wherever I land, whatever I think, throw the play out there, I'll respond. I will try to respond. I respond a lot. I try to be good. But as for now, another boring lean to the total here. I'll take the under of 230 and a half, although I'd sort of like to see Kuzma in to add to the blowout potential. But Pistons on the back to back. If I had to pick a side, I'll go the wizard side for sure. But the under's all I'm even considering here until props get made available. And assuming we can somehow react to the Kuzma news, no matter how it shakes out, under 230 and a half, just a lean though. Next up, we have the Denver Nuggets and the Toronto Raptors playing in Canada and <gasps> Nikola Jokic triple-double. Lock it. Next. Here we have the Lakers facing the Pelicans. Oh, joy. We got the Brandon Ingram revenge special if he plays basketball. Then questionable. Missed the last couple. Hasn't played now since <gasps> the 8th of the month. It's a couple games. I heard in the middle of it. It's an ankle issue. He's questionable for Tuesday's game. Bet he wants to play the Lakers. He doesn't like the Lakers. Lakers just said, get out of here. Send him out on a rail. Things are good for him. It's like your ex. I think the Lakers could use a Brandon Ingram in their lives. I'm not saying that about an ex. I'm just saying that. Yeah, so the Lakers are playing basketball. They're still without LeBron James. Anthony Davis, he's probable for this one. I expect him to be playing, and I expect him to be playing a lot, and a lot better than we've seen of late. The last two have been a little bit strange. They got away with it during the Toronto game when he put up 8-9. and nine. What planet are we on? A little bit more noticeable last game, 37 minutes, 17-16. and 16. D'Angelo Russell, though, just went completely bonkers. It's like somebody had that in their premium betting card. Oh, that was me. D'Angelo Russell just smashed the PRAs. I combine that uh, with all things Julius Randle. We'll talk about him a little bit later, too, because <laughs> next, that was enjoyable. But we've got a pretty interesting spot just because Brandon Ingram being out there, we had to see Trey Murphy go ballistic. And I do mean absolutely ballistic the other night to put up a ton of points against Portland. And people are going to put up a ton of points against Portland. But that was a pretty efficient shooting night. And I don't expect that kind of stuff to happen unless Brandon Ingram is in. So... I'm throwing out another perspective like, and I don't do this very often. Normally, I would just call it a lean, but I have enough leans on today's card. We have enough things that we don't know about yet, but I project with Brandon Ingram out that this under of 232.5 is smashable. And I do mean not quite a lock, but I do mean better than a like, somewhere in the middle. I'm not saying like 1.25 units, because that'd be very exacting. I do kind of mean 1.25 units, though. Under 232.5... I think it looks like a nice total, but if Brandon Ingram is in, do not bet. Attention, if you live in Colorado, if you live in New Jersey, if you live in Ohio, if you live in Virginia, those four states have the most ludicrous, ridiculous deal that I've ever seen in the history of sports books going on right now at Bet365. You bet $1, okay? You're going to deposit $10 in the video description box below. Just simply click on that link, deposit $10, and bet $1. $1 and you're going to get $365 in bonus bets. Yes, $365 at Bet365. Look at that. It makes sense. It's too good of a deal to pass up. Simply bet a dollar on anything. Uh, it doesn't matter what sport. It does. Well, make sure that it settles the next day so that you get that $365 right away, and then you can follow Lindy's Leans, Likes, and Locks to the promised land, but bet $1 in Colorado, New Jersey, Virginia, and Ohio, those four states. We also have a great deal going with FanDuel in the video description box below. If you click on that, if you're in any of the other states where there's legal sports betting, but for all of you in Colorado, Ohio, Virginia, New Jersey, I'm jealous of you. I wish I could take advantage of this. I might have to make a road trip to Colorado like tomorrow because this is too good of a deal. Bet 365, $1 gets you 365 in bonus bets. If you have a gambling problem, please call 1-800-GAMBLER. This is if you're 21 and over. All righty, y'all, back to the picks. We head to Oklahoma City, and nobody wants to head to Oklahoma City. Although, the grass is green and the girls are pretty. I want you, please take me home. Everybody's in for OKC. Pokashevsky's just out. Kendrick Williams is out for the season. Chet Holgram has never played for them, so I apologize to everybody involved. Ben Simmons, questionable again. Weird to see Ben Simmons questionable, but he's the only piece of injury news we have here. But I just want to throw it out there. Is McCall Bridges that dude? Because the usage has been out of control. He continues, continues to put up these offensive performances that just do not make sense to me. Phoenix, are you going to be regretting that? Kevin Durant, not healthy again. 
Cal Bridges would look pretty good on that team right about now. Cal Bridges unleashed. Is that what we're in the middle of? Look, 25 and a half is a decent number. I get it. Again, people look at it 19 per game. This is a completely different situation. And you're seeing him play massive. And I do mean massive minutes here. 46 against Minnesota. That was overtime, though. It would have been 41 in regulation. 38 against Denver. If he's going to play 38, 40 minutes a night in competitive games and Brooklyn wants to make some kind of a run in the, in the East with the 48,932 wings that they have on their basketball team, but Cal Bridges is the key. I like over 25 and a half. I get it. It might not project well in some betting systems, but I truly think, I truly think this is just unexplainable, undeniable, unrelenting, unbelievable. But no, it's believable because we're going to bet it. Over 25 and a half points. Let's go. Welcome to the lean section of the evening. Orlando, San Antonio. Do you want to bet this game? Are people going to go to this game? I guess there's nothing else to do in San Antonio. I still wouldn't go to this game. I think I'd just go to the bar. Keldon Johnson's questionable again. He ended up sitting out. Jeremy Sohan, questionable again. He sat out last game too. Fonz Wagner is questionable from the Magic side. Trey Jones is out. Malachi Branham got hurt. He's out. I'm really nervous. The Spurs are going to have to start some absolute filth at point guard. I mean, we're going to Devontae Graham, uh, Devin Vassell route again. I don't really want to be touching those points props. Do you want to be touching those points props? Might be looking at some unders. That's for damn sure. Orlando's a five-point favorite on the road. I'm just going to point that out there. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I'll actually just take the minus 200 Orlando money line because, again, the Spurs. What am I looking at here? I just don't want to pet this game. I don't even want to look at this game anymore. Do you want to? I don't. And again, Orlando's a team that we've just been backing a lot. I like Paulo Bancaro. He's emerging. Markel Fultz emerging. Finally. Took a hot second. Cole Anthony off the bench. Jalen Suggs. I don't know. I do that one a lot. Maybe I'm Jalen Suggs. I know you guys like that one. Orlando, money line. But don't do it. This is just a dumb game. Disregard. Next up, we have two teams, elite teams, on a back-to-back. -back. It's the Milwaukee Bucks facing the Phoenix Suns in Phoenix. Phoenix playing Golden State, now going back home, playing a really good Milwaukee team. Do they play Middleton on the back-to-back? -back? I doubt it. Does Giannis Antetokounmpo, who got ruled in? Yes, that game starts in 25 minutes as of recording at this second. Look, still light outside. Beautiful stuff. It's not great. Is anybody else having a tough time with the time change? Or am I just... 35 years. I'm just dying. I think that's what it is. Doesn't feel great, Pop. I got the black lung. With your weeders sticking out. Oh, that's a great movie. Zoolander, anybody? Now let's talk basketball. Milwaukee Bucks. I'm looking at this team, and again, without Middleton, definite downgrade. That's why we don't have a line. Does Drew Holiday sit? Does Giannis Antetokounmpo sit? This could be just complete punt spot from either team, and I have no idea how to analyze it in any way, shape, or form. Phoenix, though... They kind of want to get that seating going before Kevin Durant gets back. Kevin Durant, sounds like it's not the worst ankle issue, so I expect him to be back before the playoffs and yada, 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 so on and so forth. They'll be good. They'll be fine. But kind of want to get that positioning moving up in the West. In the West, definitely some traction if you don't get yourself into those top four. They're 37 and 30. They're at least not down in that 33 and 35 type realm where you have Utah, you have the Lakers, you have everybody else. So that's a plus. I expect them to be playing more people in the back-to-back -back than Milwaukee. Because, again, <laughs> Milwaukee, hashtag good. Hashtag very good. Plus 3.5 adjusted net rating. 48-19. Best record. Yes, best record in the association. So, I'm going to be going towards the Milwaukee money line if everybody's playing. But I will say, I am very happy to turn this into Phoenix if I get any inkling, any inkling whatsoever, that Giannis, Middleton, and Drew Holiday are all sitting, and this becomes the Bobby Portis special, the Brooke Lopez special. Even he could sit on the back-to-back. -back. This could be a complete punt for Milwaukee, but if everybody plays there, I have to throw it in there, but Phoenix would become the best play on the slate if you could beat that news in. Wake up early, have some coffee, wait for the waiver wire coming in, not the waiver wire, that's the wrong thing. Wait for news to come in and fire up Phoenix in the event that you get any word that they're going to punt this basketball game. Too much unpredictability. This graphic's been up forever. I should probably go to the last game. Oh, thank God we can finish with a game that I actually like here. The Knicks and the Portland Trailblazers. We've got 
pretty interesting spot in the Knicks. I mean, have they been playing good basketball? I think they've been playing pretty good basketball. But with Portland, Damian Lillard questionable, Jeremy Grant questionable. I almost locked the Knicks right from the get-go. I think you can see where I'm going there. Jalen Brunson is going to be out for this one. But Emmanuel quickly, is, he's kind of turning into that dude. Josh Hart revenge spot. He's been the catalyst for this insane run that the Knicks have been on. And Duncan Threes is a big fan of them. And again, I lean on my advanced analytics. It's just the name of the game. The Knicks are sixth in adjusted net rating. If you had Lillard and you had Jeremy Grant in, Portland is 24th. I think this is a damn near broken line. But the only reason that I am not locking this is the chance that Lillard and Grant could end up playing. Once again, the West wide open but teams need to win basketball games that are on the fringe in portland at 31 and 37 oh boy they are way out of the playoff picture do they start packing it in do they start calling it a day do they start getting on the phone and figure out how to possibly get somebody there for damian lillard that has a pulse oh wait you had josh hart a second ago he seems like he's playing good basketball for the Knicks. throwing it out there i like even money next though of course i do money line you kidding me you kidding me Lillard and Grant, please sit, because I already bet you. Next money line, even money, would turn into a lock if you had both of them sitting. You could react to this number. Don't know how to, though. Plus 100, happy to take the even money. And that does it for another edition of Lindy's Leans, Likes, and Locks. You know what to do. Go to that comment section below. Let me know your favorite plays on the board for Tuesday's slate. Don't forget to check out Bet365. Don't forget to check out the Premium Discord. Don't forget to check out Odd Shopper Premium. That's in the video description box below. You want a market-based approach? I'll give you a market-based approach. It's great stuff we have going here at the Odd Shopper channel and at oddshopper.com. Until Wednesday, I'm Eric Lindquist. Best of luck in the NBA streets on Tuesday.